Hi, I'm Joy. A week ago, I finally got FSD Beta version 10.69.2. I was in the very last group of FSD Beta rollout. So if you hear anyone saying that we YouTubers get these FSD Beta updates first, don't believe them. I didn't get them until 2.30 a.m. Monday morning. So as usual, I am taking my car out on that tricky, challenging street to test out this new update and see how it will handle that particularly difficult street. Also, as a disclaimer, as per usual, FSD beta performs 80 to 90 percent perfectly on the road. It is this particular street that I am taking my car out on to have it test out because it has interesting intersections where it has many runabouts that are not on the actual navigation map and FSD back in October 2021 had difficulties navigating around these mini roundabouts. So I've been documenting the progression of FSD beta in the last 10 months or so and see how each update handles this particular street. I am making this disclaimer because there are people out there who do not believe in the FSD technology. They may take this video and they have They've taken this video completely out of context for their own agenda. So I am making this disclaimer in this video that what you're about to see is an outlier edge case that I'm hoping that Tesla will be able to solve one day soon. So let's get it going. All right, here we go. We're about to enter into residential area with narrow streets and also with cars parked on either side with little roundabouts that some of them are not indicated on the navigation map. And we'll see how 10.69.2 performs. Now turn right onto Lucerne Avenue. So it is being cautious because that car, this car, cross the line, the tires are on the lane marking. So it was proceeding very cautiously. And coming up, we have a series of these half speed bumps. And let's see, oh, it did slow down, good. Because some of the speed bumps um, in my community is still not recognizing but I'm glad to see, well, this one didn't recognize, so I'm going to send feedback to Tesla. So these speed bumps have been a hit and miss throughout the last 10 years, uh, not 10 years, the <laughs> last 10 months of uh, FSD beta updates. So I don't know how they're labeling the speed bumps, but I'm hoping that um, they'll be able to capture enough different styles of speed bumps as time goes on to recognize them. So yeah, this one didn't slow down either. So I'm going to give it the feedback. And we got a few more different speed bumps. Actually, I think just one more speed bump of a different kind coming up. 500 feet, turn left on Tegura Street. And by the way, this is set to aggressive, not aggressive, assertive mode. So this speed bump be recognized and my following distance is a two. And the reason why I have this set to assertive mode, it's because here in LA, you have to use assertive mode, otherwise you're gonna be eaten alive by other cars. So now we're gonna um, turn onto the street that's challenging. And uh, let's see how this update handles these roundabouts. So reducing speed to 25 miles per hour. And here's the first roundabout. And 
very well and this one has been working fine and then here's the second one and it's going cautiously and it also signaled which is okay if I had a car that was behind me it might get a little confused but it worked okay this one was a little challenging so but now it kind of stopped and it's assessing the situation and it's going very very cautiously so this one seemed to regress just a little bit because if I remember correctly in the previous um, in the previous test this one actually worked fine so um, those are the runabouts so now I'm going to turn back around and um, I will go all the way down the street where there are more runabouts that are actually not indicated on the map. So I'll be back. Okay, now we're going back down this road. And the one that regressed a little bit, I said it regressed because it did not do as confidently as before. And uh, here, I'm not sure why I was going that way, but um, I'm sending that feedback. So this first one, it had issues before and now it's fine so very nice and then this one on the way back it also had um, issues before so let's see how this performs oh perfect this did perfectly very nice good job and it it's confident um, so that's a behavior I'm looking for. So now this one is still navigating a little bit more cautiously and it's slowed down. I do have a car behind me. Um, so hopefully they're not being too annoyed by this car, but it did navigate that roundabout perfectly, just slowly. And then this last one handled it perfectly and now we're gonna keep going where there are two really tiny runabouts that are not indicated on the map and i actually don't like this uh creeping thing because it's all clear so why are you creeping i don't understand um so again i'm reducing the speed to 25 miles per hour just because these are super narrow and vision actually detected the whole island in this version and it's wonderful and uh, as you can see it's the navigation doesn't say that there's a roundabout but now it recognized that island in the middle of the intersection and it handled it accordingly so that was a huge improvement it's so much more smooth handling those um roundabouts they're not on the map and again it's creeping I'm not sure why so feedback so yeah um, super happy with uh, the progression of FSD beta this is very well done very very well done all right that was my 10.69.2 FSD beta test on that tricky challenging street and if you've been following my channel and this particular playlist you may notice the significant improvements from when I start testing out back in October 2021 up until now, September 2022, how far it's come in recognizing those roundabouts and navigating the tricky situation. So there is still work to be done, but I think uh, this is 95%, 90 to 95% done correctly. I just hope that um, it will be more confident when it's navigating the roundabouts um, and that uh, it's not going to slow down. Well, it should slow down if it's not safe, but at the speed that I was going, it should just go around smoothly at uh, 25 miles per hour without slowing down the cars behind me. So, Great work, Tesla team. Really thankful to be a FSD beta tester. And uh, thank you for coming along with me on this ride. I will see you in the next video. And God bless you.